morning, friends, and welcome to our unit of study lesson for Friday, March 5th, 2021. First, we will discuss our focus question, what are shadows? Next, we will listen to a read aloud of Moonbear's shadow. And last, we will go over our depth of knowledge wheel questions. Thank you and enjoy the lesson. And now for our focus question, what are shadows? Shadows are made when light is blocked. Many objects block light. These objects are opaque. Opaque means that you cannot see through something. Shadows can be different sizes. If something is very close to the light, like the kitten that you see in the picture below, it will block a lot of light and create a Big shadow. Translucent objects are objects that are partly see-through. Let some light pass through them. A balloon is an example of a translucent object. You can see through the balloon, but the things that you see on the other side of the balloon look fuzzy. Transparent objects let all light pass through them. Clean windows are transparent objects because you can see everything through them. Now, friends, let's get ready for a read aloud of Moon Bear's Shadow. Moon Bear's Shadow, written and illustrated by Frank Ash. Remember, friends, the author writes the words and the illustrator draws, paints the pictures, and takes photos. One day, Bear went down to the pond with his fishing pole and a big can of worms. While he was putting a worm on his hook, he looked down and saw a big fish. I'm going to catch that fish, thought Bear to himself. But when Bear stood up to throw his line in the water, his shadow scared the big fish away. Go away, shadow, cried Bear. But Bear's shadow would not go away. Okay, said Bear. If you won't go on your own, then I'll just have to get rid of you. And he put down his fishing pole and he began to run. He ran around the pond and when he got to the other side, he kept on running. He ran through a field of flowers, jumped over the brook and hid behind a tree. Good, thought Bear. Now Shadow can't find me. But Bear was wrong. When he stepped out from behind the tree, the first thing he saw was Shadow. Nearby was a cliff. Bear walked over to the cliff and looked up. I'll climb so high, Shadow won't be able to follow me, thought Bear. Bear climbed higher and higher until at last he pulled himself up to the top. Huffing and puffing, he smiled with pride. Then he looked down and saw Shadow. Now Bear was very annoyed, so he went home and got a hammer and some nails to nail his shadow to the ground. He hammered and hammered and hammered, but no matter how many nails he hammered, he couldn't nail his shadow down. If I can't nail him down, thought Bear, maybe I can bury him. So he got his shovel and dug a hole. When the hole was deep and wide, he let his shadow fall in the hole. Then Bear filled in the hole with dirt. And when he was finished, it was almost noon. The sun was very high in the sky and shadow was nowhere to be seen. At last, sighed Bear, no more shadow. But now Bear was very tired, so he went inside and took a little nap. While he slept, time passed, and the sun once again cast shadows everywhere. When Bear got up and opened his door, he saw his shadow on the floor. Not you again, exclaimed Bear, and he slammed the door, hoping to lock Shadow inside. But Shadow was too quick. Mmm, 
sighed Bear. How about this? If you let me catch a fish, I'll let you catch one too. Nod your head like this if it's a deal. When Bear nodded his head, Shadow nodded too. So Bear went back to the pond and once again threw his line in the water. By this time, the sun was in a different part of the sky, which made it easy for Shadow to keep his part of the deal. And when Bear caught that big fish, Shadow caught one too. The end. And now for our depth of knowledge wheel questions. Question one. What are some of the ways Bear tried to get rid of his shadow? Question two. What makes shadows? Question three. Bear talked to his shadow. Can shadows listen? Can shadows answer questions? Why or why not? And question four. When it was noon, and the sun was high in the sky, Bear's shadow was gone. Why? Parents and caregivers, please make sure to upload video footage of your child answering the following depth of knowledge wheel questions under the Units of Study album on our Homeroom website. Thanks so much and enjoy your day.